What's going on guys? Darkstar 456 or Numbers Defiance here. Back with another video and I'm gonna be starting up with a new series where I'm gonna be talking about underused items in general, which would be I guess anything, divisions, primary, secondary weapons, actually secondaries are pretty well used. Uh, I might do a couple basic trainings and there's one tactical I have in mind that I might do for an underused video. Uh, but for the first underused video in this series, we're gonna be talking about the what I feel is probably the most underused SMG, and that would be the Waffle 28. Wow. Waffle 28. Automatic SMG with high recoil and highest fire rate in class. See, now this is a very troublesome SMG. Highest recoil, highest fire rate. Okay, so those are two things that kind of go hand in hand, and this gun destroys if they're right in your face, but other than that, it's pretty terrible. If you were to compare the WAF-28 to, say, the PBSH, or what I don't have currently unlocked, the M1928, these two, PBSH and the Tommy Gun, are probably the most used, maybe MP40, but definitely M1928 and PBSH, I think, will be set up for those. The WAF-28 is the fastest, M1928 would be the second fastest, but it has a greater punch, and uh, it still has a crap ton of uh, recoil. But the damage is just better. PPSH, it's like it's a god gun, man. It's everybody uses it because it's a god. For the sake of looking awesome in this video, I'm gonna be using the trigger happy variant because it looks awesomer. And to be honest, the base variant of the WAP 28 has very ugly iron sights. If you're gonna use iron sights, I do recommend getting a variant with better iron sights. These ones are a lot cleaner than the normal ones, they're just kinda trash. For a WAF-28, you're going to be wanting to use possibly a lens or a reflex sight, especially if you have the base variant. Unlock one of these sights and equip it pretty soon because if unless you really can use those iron sights, be my guess. But personally, they're very ugly and just really just ugh. Of course, I'm going to put on the reflex sight and my second attachment. Now, so you could do a second attachment or a third attachment if you equip primed, which I'll talk about that in a second. More often than not, you're going to want to use the grip, or you're going to want to use extended mag. You could probably go with steady aim. I don't think you'll need rapid fire because you're going to destroy yourself with all that recoil. Extended mag, obviously, because you're going to run through bullets really fast. And I know it looks ridiculous, but it's kind of a need. And grip because you kind of want to, you know, chill on all that uh, recoil. For all the basic trainings, you're probably going to want to run Hustle because you're going to want to remote often, or maybe even Prime. Prime will give you another attachment in which you could probably, instead of having to reload often, throw in extended mags and you'll flinch less and you'll be hopefully a little bit more accurate with that gun. Another basic training that might work, which I don't see people running around a lot, is Forage, which is basically Scavenger, which means you can pick up ammo from uh, dead bodies. I think each, each body they will drop a little pouch and that'll give you one extra magazine, which is, I think, it's uh, 32 rounds for WAP-28, so each dead body you walk over will give you another 32 rounds. Another basic training you could try and work with is, would be Gunslinger. Fire guns while sprinting and diving. You're gonna have a very fast gun that you can just blast in people's faces. Hey, run into them, dive into them, and just hold that trigger down and pray. So that's enough right there, we'll get into a match and I'll show you a little bit of gameplay with this gun. Come on, boy. You know I've seen you. There you are. Sit down, boy. Alright, so I decided to hop on to kill confirm. Uh, I feel like, you know, this is a good map, good rushing map. You're gonna want to run in really quickly and grab all those tags. Look, there you go. This is a good guy. Using the trigger happy, epic waft. Another thing is you're probably gonna want to keep the silencer on this gun. The silencer seems to help with accuracy more often than not. It does suppress the kick a little bit. Yeah, that's exactly what I was talking about. At long ranges, this gun is just going to kick way too far. You have to be really good with uh, handling accuracy and trying to compensate for it if you're going to even try to go for long range skills. This is going to be the kind of gun that you're going to want to like charge in either medium to close range against enemies.
Okay, this is actually very bad for demonstration purposes. They just called in a bomber on us, so we're about to get destroyed, actually. So I decided to switch it up a little bit and I equipped the Gunslinger basic training, which will let me run and dive while still being able to fire. And I feel like with the WAP-28, because it's such a fast weapon, it's kind of like made for that. Oh god, I got taken out from the side, wow. He, ki he killed me with a freaking concussion. That, that is, oh my god. Oh shit! <laughs> that actually would have been so cool if I had got the double. Okay, that was actually a really fun match. Uh, dang, all those gunslinger kills, dolphin diving and shooting is absolutely. Ooh, there you go. This is my uh, fury kill actually. Ooh, yep. Took a little quick dive behind the corner. Somehow, oh, I the car blew up. Ooh, I got a. All right, so as you can see, the WAP-28 is a very viable weapon, especially at close range. And if you can practice with it, medium to long range becomes a little bit easier. My purpose with this video is just to get people to try out other guns, you know, instead of like the same old PPSH or Tommy Gun or STG44, you know, let's try out like other guns because there's a bunch of guns that get looked over. The WAP-28 I feel is probably the most looked over and it's such a fun weapon. Just to sum this thing really quick, I think if you're trying to go like a competitive route, hustle is definitely something you need for this weapon that just blasts every bullet out in such a quick time. But still, if you're looking to have some fun, Gunslinger, I definitely recommend that. And uh, you know what? If you tr try out this class with a Gunslinger, try to do some dolphin dive kills. And if you like that, you know, hey, uh, how about you send me uh, my clips? I have my Twitter link in my channel description. And uh, send me whatever clips. And if you want, I could probably feature you in a video. Uh, or something like that, you know, something cool like that. Anyways guys, I actually did have a lot of fun with this weapon, and um, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you do leave a like, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe, and as always, comment, let me know what you think, and I'll see you all next video. Bye-bye.